She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about her features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her Hello you guys, welcome to a new video. Or if you're new, welcome to my channel. But today's video, we're going to be doing something that I've been putting off for, I guess a year now. We've officially lived in this house for a year and the sunroom is still a mess. So in this video, I basically wanna just get my sunroom together because it's cool enough that we even have a sunroom. So like we should make use of it and like make it cute and functional in there. So this is the current state of the sunroom. <laughs> It is very much so a dumping ground, truly. Just like whatever we don't have a place for, we just put in here. There are some elements in it that are cute, like all of our plants, but that plant is huge and overgrown. If you saw my home sense haul, then you know that I got new planters, but I still haven't put them in there. This planter needs to go in the living room with a new plant because that was expensive and I want it to be on display in the living room. Those plants over there, succulents, just really overgrown. Basically, I've got a lot of replanting to do, a lot of organizing to do. I need to hang up curtains in here so that we actually have some privacy. I want to get some bins for those cubbies down there so that we can keep it a little more organized in here. I need to just clean, basically, but there's a lot to do in here. And I'm finally gonna tackle it today and tomorrow. So the first step to this process is going to be me going to Home Depot to get all of the planting stuff that we need, basically like potting soil, like the little shovel thing, all that kind of stuff, and maybe a new plant um, for the planter that we're gonna move into the living room. Um, and then I wanna go to Home Goods, just see what they have over there um, in terms of like decor. And then also Walmart has like the bins for the cubbies, really, really cheap. Um, I'll check in Home Goods too. And now I'm probably not even gonna go to Target. But yeah, Walmart also just to keep it cost efficient. But I already have the curtain rods and I already have the curtains. So I also need a steamer to steam the curtains. So that's the plan. I am going to get in the car, go shopping, um, get all the stuff we need, and then we will be back to tackle this bitch. <sighs> you guys, I've been out for hours, but I just got home and I wanted to show you everything I got. So first stop was Home Depot. I found these two really cute succulents, so I got them. I'm gonna make um, kind of like a little succulent garden. I got like a wide um, pot for plants, so I'm gonna put the succulents I have already and then probably one of these in it. Um, then I found a handy dandy steamer so I could steam the curtains. Only $16.99 at, at Home Goods. And then also at Home Goods, I found this hangy thing. Hold on, let me put that. I found this like hang hanging planter. So I'm thinking of putting it in that corner over there. And then we can do like three potted plants. I'll probably put one of the succulents in this top one because I think it's a good size and then we'll figure out what we put in those. Maybe like one of them can be like a viney plant I think would look cute. So yeah I think that's gonna look cute in there. I'm just realizing though that I did not get a hook so probably have to go find a hook somewhere. We might have one though and then of course you can't go to home goods without getting a candle so I got this one. I think it's gonna fit the like white and wood theme in there. I have a tray that we have in the living room that I wanna put on the table in there as like decor. So we'll do that. And then I went to, I, I ended up at Ikea because Walmart did not have these bins for the cubbies. So I ended up at Ikea and I got just white ones because the other colors wouldn't really match in there. So I just got plain white and I think it'll look really nice and clean. And then also at Home Depot, I got one of these little shovel things to do planting with. And then I think the only other thing in here is uh, like fertilizer for the plants. And then I got two big um, potting mixes and that's it. I thought I was gonna be able to find like better planters and stuff, but I didn't. So we're just gonna make do with what we have and make it work, make it twerk, you know what I mean? So we have like the big planters, which is really what we need. So I think right now I'm going to clean this room out first and foremost really need to do that and then do the plants or do the curtains hmm I don't know I'll figure it out and I'll film it <laughs> for you guys to see
Okay, it's been several hours. I am sweaty, I am tired, I am kind of over being in this room, but I got one window of curtains up and oh my God, it makes such a big difference. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Oh my God, I still have to steam them, but I feel, I mean, you can see completely through them <laughs> basically because I wanted to get light filtering ones because I obviously still want all of my plants to survive, but um, it I feel like I have some privacy. My neighbors can't see directly in, in here, which is amazing. And the plant looks so good in there. Oh my God, <laughs> replanting that was a train wreck, but it's there now. And then I did my little succulent garden in this one. I put this girl in the smaller pot that that guy was in because she was just too small for that big ass pot. So I still don't know what I'm gonna put in here. I might put the plant that's in the living room in there. I still have not cleaned this up. I don't know. I just don't want to quite frankly so I'm just like walking around the dirt as I do everything else which probably isn't a good idea when you're using white curtains but it's all good um, I'm gonna try to put the other curtain rod up and just get that out of the way and then I think we're just gonna continue tomorrow um, because this is a lot I also will probably open up the bins and put them in there and then probably sweep <laughs> um, but I'm very proud of myself oh my god Okay, you guys, it is time for the big reveal. I look like trash right now because I ended up not getting ready today, but are you ready to see the full completed sunroom in all its glory? Let's go. Oh my God, are you kidding? I've been sitting in here for like an hour, just like taking it all in and I love all of it. I love all of it. So let me walk you through everything give you a full scope of the room love it okay so these prints if you're an OG then you know we used to have these over our bed at our both the apartments we lived in um, and they you know match perfectly in here so I decided to put them up I don't know if that looks a little too crowded um, or if it's like a layered look I'm not sure but I thought I was thinking maybe stacking them here like one on top of the other but I thought maybe that was too crowded too I don't know you can let me know but I got these from Wayfair um, and then this like set, like the seats and the table and this table, this is all from Macy's Home Design. I will link it for you if you're interested. It's pretty expensive because it is like furniture, like an investment piece um, or pieces, but it is from Macy's. So I'll link it for you. Um, this tray is just a tray that's been floating around. It used to be on our living room table, um, but we got a new smaller tray for that. So this is from West Elm. Um, then the candles, this one is just a sweet magnolia one from Home Goods, and then this one I got in like a PR bag or something, I, I can't remember. Also there's like five candles burning in here and all of them are different scents, but we need the ambiance. <laughs> and then over here, I don't know, I might get like a few more plants to put over here, fill it up a little bit, but I made my little succulent garden, I think I showed you guys that yesterday. Um, this planter thing is from home sense and then i have my little bow speaker hidden behind there so that you can't really see it but if we want to like listen to music in here we can do that um and then i put up the hanging planter thing that i got yesterday at home goods i'm um, gonna have one plant up there this is i don't really know the names of any of my plants but it's like a viney one and it was just kind of getting crushed like just sitting on this table so i put her up there and i plan on getting two more viney plants to go here um but they have to be bigger i have one in the living room right now and i'm gonna see if it fits but it's in like a terracotta pot so i don't know like color wise like i want to put white pots um but yeah then as for the curtains and the curtain rods the curtains are from bed bath and beyond all the, also by the way i will link everything down below the curtains are from bed bath and beyond and the curtain rods are from amazon so i will link that as well um then this big old plant oh repotting this was a mission as you guys saw in some of the clips um but she's in there she's good and she looks good and new nice white pot 
Um, and then I put the little cubby things in here. In here is like random stuff like that big extension cord is in here. We've got some cleaning supplies, some plant stuff, stuff like that. Um, and then I put my snake plant over here, but I'm realizing I need to get like, first of all, I think it needs a bigger pot. So I think I'm gonna get a bigger pot for it and sit it in this corner over here because this looks kind of empty. Um, and I feel like it's gotten really, really huge and I need those sticks so that they like stand straight up. But first and foremost, I think I just need a bigger pot. Um, and then I have this cross here that's come with me to all of the places I've lived. Um, so I just propped her up there. I would like something a little bit more fitting for the decor, but she's all I had and I don't know where else to put her and I don't want to get rid of her. Um, and then over here, I just have my watering can that I got, I think at like the, in the dollar section at Target, it was like $7 or something. Um, and then this candle is from Roots. Uh, my sister-in-law actually works for them. So she gave me that candle when I went and visited them in Canada. Um, but yeah, that is that. I love, this is, I will link like the Ikea cubby thing and the bins and all that. Um, because I think this is actually... Uh, a really good solution for one storage in here and then also like if there are a few extra people sitting in here somebody can like you know park their ass on there um and then over here i have this rug from target just says hello um so that we can like wipe off our feet when we come in from the yard and then over here i ended up taking the plant that was in the living room and putting it in this big pot and then you guys i don't know if you saw me i think i told you yesterday i put the the plant that was in the big standing planter in this one that that I can't I cannot believe that that plant was in that tiny little pot it's kind of crazy um and then this little lantern thing with the candle is from home goods and we've had that for a long time in here but I'm super happy it took me literally like three hours to steam all these curtains because the steamer I got is like pretty tiny but they look nice they're not like perfectly perfectly steamed but they look way better than they did when I first put them up so yeah that is about it for the sunroom I would show you my well let's see Okay, I'm looking a hot mess, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see it, me transform any other rooms. Uh, or, you know, how you how do you like my home decor content? I don't do it very often, but I would love to know if you guys would like to see more of it. And I will definitely do that for you. Um, I feel very accomplished. This is definitely like the first room in the whole house that I've like really, well, other than my studio, this is the first room in the whole house that I've like completed. You know what I mean? Or I feel like it's super complete. Um, so yeah, if you're new here and you watch all the way to the end, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, become part of our fam. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video.